So last time we were here, Jake and I were talking about the well was over there, all the trees were still here, and it was hard to visualize. Now, we've gotten permits approved, trees are fell, uh, and now we've got the layout done. We're starting to cut. Um, we've decided to go down to um, increase the water side uh, flat area. We have. we have more of a water side grassy you know, um, area. We're gonna have a jacuzzi over here. The house is gonna be right behind me here. Um, we'll have a septic field laid out here where the um, straw is all laid out. And um, outdoor patio will be right. It's going in over there to house um, our water tank as well as paddle boards, um, the waterfront stuff, kayaks, that kind of stuff that we'll use for renters. And um, yeah, outdoor patio right behind me. We're gonna do a water feature, which we're still kind of playing with the idea of doing a possibly a waterfall um, into a, either a dry pond or a, or a pond feature on that corner to wash out some of the highway noise. We're also doing to wash out the highway noise, we're taking the excess um, soil that we pull out of here and we're using it to firm um, on, in the direction of the highway noise to try and deflect some of that noise away from the property. Anything else, Jake? I think you got it covered. Okay. Things are moving along. Yeah, we're cutting quite a bit. What do we? We originally the elevation was 47, and we lowered that because the existing elevation was actually 45. Correct. So we went three feet below that to 42 feet, and that gave us more of a flat area on the water side. Uh, also helped position the building into the into the slope a little bit to yeah. kind of wash out some more of the road noise and protect the patio area. Yeah. For, for, renters get the building down yeah get the building down below the road height so yeah so we're cutting now and we got the road driveway in it's moving finally moving